Alright guys, welcome back to AK Academics channel. If you're watching this video, there is a likelihood that you have seen one or two of my videos before now. Don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. If you've been watching these videos and you have not subscribed, we'll be happy and excited to have you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification button so that whenever we make new videos, you will be one of the first few people to get these notifications and watch them. Alright, here is the first question for today's teaching. The figure you're looking at, this figure here, shows a block of mass M equal to 15 kilograms. So you can see the block of mass M here, it is 15 kilograms, held by a cord on a frictionless inclined plane. So it is held by a cord on a frictionless inclined plane. This is the inclined plane, and then this is the cord that is holding the mass. What is tension in the cord if theta is 27 degrees this is theta here that is the angle of inclination of the inclined surface it is 27 degrees and then the tension we're looking for is going to exist in the cord that is holding the mass on the inclined plane to this edge okay so we are going to find this tension we already have this theta and there is a second part of the question which says what first does the plane exact on the block whenever you come across questions like this or when you're dealing with questions that have to do with physics or any other calculations you might probably want to create an imaginary scene in your mind in your in your head and say okay what would this look like imaginarily you want to identify all the forces involved in any motion at all because that will make life easy you know for you right now let's do that we want to identify the horizontal components of all the forces acting on this body. We will identify the vertical components of all the forces acting on this particular block. And then from there, we identify the equations that represent them. And from there, it becomes very easy to approach the solution to, to this problem. Let's go ahead and analyze this problem in an XY plane. This is what we do have here. You can say you can see that because we are on an inclined surface, our XY axis is tilted. Can you you see that right now before now the x y axis would the x axis is usually horizontal and then the y is directly vertical on the horizontal now this is on an inclined surface it is also horizontal but the horizontal is inclined at an angle of theta which is 27 degrees so you can see this is our x axis now this is our x axis and then the y axis is like this whenever we are trying to analyze this in the x y axis the mass is usually kept at the origin here okay so as you can see the mass is here and then the weight of the mass is drawn vertically downward uh, in mathematics this angle is usually equal to this angle okay if you subtract theta from 90 degrees that is what we are going to have here we are going to have 90 degrees minus theta here all right also you will find out that this normal this vertical axis is making a 90 degrees angle with the horizontal so that simply means everything we have here up onto this vertical axis is going to be 90 degrees so if this place is 90 minus theta it simply means that what we have here will be 90 minus 90 minus theta and what we would have will just be theta here so eventually this angle will be equal to this angle okay we have our x-axis tilted on an inclined surface. We have the y-axis also tilted. And we do know that there are two forces that act, two vertical forces that always act on the body that is resting on the surface. The first force is the vertical force upward, which is represented as the N, the normal force. Okay, so this is a normal force acting on the body. And the second force is the weight of the body, which is represented as W or Mg. W is always equal to Mg. So this is the weight acting on the body coming down here as m g okay also we do know there is a tension on the horizontal axis so the tension is horizontal axis acting on the horizontal so the tension on the horizontal axis act on the body upward or forward this way okay so this is our x axis that means our tension will be here all right now that we have this the first thing you want to ask yourself is what are the vertical forces acting on the mass or on the block given and then what are the horizontal forces acting on the block given let's quickly find those and move on from there according to newton's law the summation of all the forces acting on a block resting on a surface is equal to zero so we can see summation f which is all the forces will be equal to tension one of the forces on the horizontal plus mg which is the force here plus n which is the 
vertical force upward the summation of all these forces would be equal to zero now we are we are not talking about the, the the direction of the forces yet we just want to know that the summation of all the forces are equal to zero and now that we have seen that we can now start talking about the signs the direction of those forces and then we know which ones are vertical which ones are horizontal let's quickly find that out okay so what are the horizontal forces that are acting on the block for example N is not going to have any horizontal component because it is normal, it is perpendicular, directly perpendicular to the mass here. So it's not going to have any horizontal force. I explained why using an angle of 90 degrees in one of the videos discussed using vectors. So if you have not seen that video, please go and check the videos I made on vectors and motion. Okay, summation of all the horizontal components N is cancelled out because it has no horizontal component. T has a horizontal component and it is in the positive direction. So we have T here with positive sign. As you can see here, we have MG. We have to find the horizontal component. It is the weight. So we have to find the horizontal component of this weight. If you move this and convert it to horizontal, that means you want the force that is right in the negative x axis here this is going to be the direct horizontal force so we want to convert this to its horizontal force to find that we would use mg sine theta the, the the sign behind this will be negative because it's on the negative x axis so we have minus mg sine theta and the summation of all the horizontal components is expected to be zero too, so we can easily equate this to zero okay something very quickly i might want to call your attention to is that if you choose to use the angle here we are using this angle and that's why we are having sine theta here this theta is 27 degrees so we have sine 27 degrees here for the horizontal component if you choose to use cos you can also use cos but it will now be cos of 90 minus 27 90 minus 27 is 63 degrees so that is going to be the angle here so if you are using cos it becomes t minus mg cos 63 degrees not cos 27 degrees okay so this is the summation of all the horizontal components that we have and if we take it further you can quickly rearrange this and you will find out that if you add mg sin theta to both sides you have t equals to mg sin theta and then you know our m to be 15 we know our g to be 9.8 or 10 that is acceleration due to gravity and then multiplied by sine theta our theta in this case like we mentioned earlier would be 27 degrees so we have 15 times 9.8 times sine 27 degrees and that gives us 67 new thing the tension in this chord is equal to 67 new thing we have found solution to the first part of the question that says what is the tension in the cord if the tie is 27 degrees now the second part says what force does the plane exact on the block to find this we might as well go ahead and find the vertical force component acting on the block all right if we do that we have summation f y equal to n minus mg cos theta you will find out that t is not appearing in this equation at all why because t is directly on the horizontal plane so it's not going to have any vertical component so t is off if you want to know exactly how that is off using an angle of 90 degrees watch the videos we made on vectors and motion all right the normal force the first one here for vertical components of forces is n and it is on the positive y axis so we have positive n here also if you decide to convert this weight to vertical component it becomes mg cos theta here and that's going to be mg cos 27 if you choose to use sine it's going to be mg sine 63 but let's keep it at cos 27 because we choose to use cos here so you have n minus mg cos theta summation of all the vertical components is expected to be equal to zero too so if you rearrange that what you would have is n equal to mg cos theta if you add mg cos theta to both sides and we know our mass is 15 kilogram our g is 9.8 meters per second and then cos 27 we can easily find that using our calculator or using the four figure table whatever we choose to use we can find the multiplication of these values and that gives us 131 newtons what you can see here is that a normal force n acting on the mass resting on this inclined surface is 1 
31 newtons and that is going to be the first exacted by the plane on the block this brings us to the solution of this particular problem i want to encourage you to try to go over it again and again in case there's something you don't understand here and if you at any point think you need more clarifications go right to the comment section ask your questions i will be there to answer those questions hope you enjoyed this video if you did share with someone you believe would enjoy these and get as much value as you have gotten from this video share this video with them give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed now would be the best time to quickly hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification button